What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Jump. And today, we're talking about flamboyant NFL quarterback Cam Newton. Now, this is going to be brutal if you're a Cam Newton fan, but I just want to say that I admire Cam Newton because the guy is all about perseverance. You know, from his early career as a backup to Tim Tebow at the University of Florida, and we all know now that Cam Newton is a much better quarterback than Tim Tebow ever could have been. From leaving there because he stole a laptop and going to Blinn College and then going to Auburn and winning the national championship in his own year as the starter and then becoming the first round pick of the Panthers, I believe that Cam Newton has lived up to all expectations for his style of play, okay? I believe it. I believe that at one point, Cam Newton was definitely the MVP of the league, which he was in 2015. But with that being said, Cam Newton, to me, is not an NFL quarterback, all right? Um, and even, even in today's game. In, 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 in today's game, if he came out now, back then, he'd be more prolific. But Cam Newton is an athlete that can throw the football. That's what Cam Newton is, all right? And because of his lack of accuracy, all right, because it's more than playing quarterback than, you know, just having a bullet-ass arm or having a strong arm or being able to move in the pocket. Because Cam Newton, historically, although he has had different offensive coordinators, he has had a big problem with pinpoint accuracy many years throwing the ball beneath 60%. You cannot be a top NFL passer throwing for underneath 60%. For example, let me give you Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo is not even considered a top 12 quarterback in the NFL, okay? Jimmy Garoppolo last year threw for 3,978 yards, and 69.1% passes in completion. All right? Cam Newton's had only one year, right? Over 67% passing, which was with North Turner. But if you look at the total yards that year, it was less than what? 3,400 yards, as you can see right here. So again, it's a lot of check down passing. It's not a lot of pushing the ball downfield. And if you look at the yards per, per average in comparison to Jimmy Garoppolo, he's just digging and dunking the ball. All right? So when Cam Newton got hurt last year and no NFL team wanted to pay him a lot of money or give him a starting job, you can see why. Here's a guy that's hurt coming off a big-time injury at 31 Cam Newton has taken the most NFL hits out of any player, okay? At his position, in any player, running back, anybody. He's taken the most hits. Body's probably broken down. So when people talk about Cam Newton can't get a job, you know, Shannon Sharp is talking about, oh, it's racism. No. It's probably because the guy just can't play. Because of injuries or he's not that good. That's really what it's about. I'm sorry. I mean, the, the guy just can't play quarterback but good enough to be a starter anymore. All right? Gone are the days that, that, that the offenses are going to customize an offensive system for Cam Newton. Those days are gone. Nobody's going to take 31-year-old Cam Newton coming off an injury and say, you know what, we're going to run our playbook to your style. The guy's not worth it at this age. 
All right? Now, I, I was having this debate with LAR Movement last night, and I was talking about how Cam Newton issued this thing. And Cam Newton said he's going to make everybody pay for the teams that passed on him. All right? Let me go ahead and, 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 and read what he actually said. He says it here. Every team that at one point had to say, okay, fellas, Cam Newton, what are we thinking? Uh, pass. I'm going to at next all year. Cam Newton, as much as I want to see you be successful, bro, you won't even see the field. You'll be on the bench. And a lot of you guys who feel different just don't know football. Okay? Cam Newton, number one, doesn't have a situation now. Jared, now, we, we know about Stidham over there, okay? Jared Stidham. Stidham's a young quarterback that came out of Auburn also. Just at different times. And Jared Stidham is not as athletic as Cam Newton, even right now. Jared Stidham does have a hell of a gun for an arm. All right, he has a really good arm. But Jared Stidham has been in the Josh McDaniels offensive coordination system for a year now. And everybody knows that Josh McDaniels has one of the most hardest offensive systems to learn. And now, if you're a quarterback or NFL player, here's what guys don't know. You have to learn the language of the offensive system. Okay? You have to. And that's the thing about OTAs right now. Coronavirus and, you know, nobody really knows how healthy Cam Newton is, which is why teams don't want to take a big, you know, a big shot on him. He doesn't know the system that Josh McDaniels is running. He has to learn a whole new system. But the whole new receiving core. Which, might I add, is not talented. All right? The Patriots are terrible on offense. Tom Brady, the fact that he threw for 4,000 yards out there shows to how good Tom Brady is. Cam Newton can't throw for 4,000 yards in any season except for the first one. Okay? So you take Cam Newton, you put him in this system, let's say if he could play. Not knowing all of the offensive playbook. Not being able to work with those receivers. And with weak talent around him, you don't have, you know, uh, Christian McCaffrey anymore. You don't have, you know, your, 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 your tight end that you have, you know, you've had all your life over there in Carolina. You don't have him anymore. Now you're dealing with bums, okay? You're dealing with bums. You don't have Greg Olson anymore. Bums! And let me just say, another reason why Cam Newton's going to be out of the league pretty soon is not necessarily because, oh, well, he just can't play as much as I was saying, because he can play a little bit. But the thing about it is that now guys are just better than him, okay? The, the offensive style of system that's coming to the NFL right now is using a lot of collegiate concepts. Gone are the days where, you know, you were coming out of college and you had to learn the NFL playbook like that. Now the NFL playbook is coming along with college concepts. Which, I mean, Cam Newton could understand that, but at 31, you can't run the speed option anymore like that. Okay? You just can't. And there is a market for quarterbacks. The, the market is saturated. All right? That's why Jameis Winston took a minimum at, at, at New Orleans. All right? You got Tua in the league now. All right? You got Justin Herbert in the league now. Okay? Even Aaron Rodgers is in trouble in Green Bay. So there, there's, there's too many quarterbacks there in the league. The next year, you got Justin Fields coming out of Ohio State possibly. All right? Trevor Lawrence. You got all of these guys that are coming up that can play. And nobody wants to uh, uh, put a lot of effort into a guy that's 31, taking the most hits, and you're talking trash, bro. Seriously, Cam, shut up. All right? Instead of warning issue, uh, 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 issues warning the teams that pass on them, you should be trying to learn the Josh McDaniels playbook. Because you'll be on the bench. You will have plenty of time to be on the bench as they're grooming Jared Stidham. And then the next year you'll be going somewhere, you'll be on third string. All right? Like, seriously, you can't talk 
You can't talk trash as a backup. Which is what you're relegated to being now, buddy. Welcome to the wall. You're a backup quarterback now. I'm not saying that you can't start or that you shouldn't start, but I just don't think that you will start. You are a backup quarterback. All right? That's it. So if you're trying to hype yourself up, I mean, it sounds good. Nobody's listening to you, bro. No other team, you don't make anybody fearful of you. Not even in that division. Not in Miami. Miami's pretty good on defense. Buffalo is definitely not worried about your ass. Nobody is. And I wish a lot of brothers that are like Cam Newton, who's always with a chip on their shoulder, just shut up, bro. Worry about doing what you need to do, okay? A lot of you brothers talk too much, okay, about what you're going to do and all that. How about you just go out and start doing it and shutting up? Seriously. Life works a lot better when you just shut up and go out there and do what you're supposed to do. And if Cam Newton wants to prove anybody wrong, you're not going to do it with your mouth, bro, and your, and your idle threats. Learn the playbook. Be humble. Work hard. Wait for your opportunity now because you're not used to being a backup again and go out and play. Otherwise, welcome to the bench. Hold the clipboard for Stidham. Well, guys, that's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Subscribe. Hit the bell. I really appreciate all that you do. Um, go to the first comment pinned to the top. I really thank you guys for all that you do. And um, check me out on Patreon. Check me out on um, NegroManusford.com. Check me out the Black Men and Purple T-shirts. And we're out. Peace.